Hey guys, Peter here to tell you about the latest from Kvan, The Formless Fires, out June 21st on Metal Blade Records. The album has 8 tracks, 39 minutes in length, and this is the third album. Now, Kvan is a solo man's project, a one-man band, if you will, uh, straight out of Sweden, and that is obvious in the sound, in the atmosphere, in the overall essence, not only of the project, but of this record. Now, when you look when you look at this album and when you look at the design of this record, I think you're going to find an album that's very mature. It still showcases a lot of the individuality of the songs, a lot of, of what they have to offer on an individual basis, but it does connect these tracks a lot better than I was expecting coming in, creating a little bit more of an overall flow, creating a little bit more of a balanced and cohesive approach without completely discarding the individual nature that each song provides. It's also an album that doesn't feel dense, that has the right pockets of melody that the listener can really navigate much better through this record, through the 39 minutes, eight songs, without necessarily feeling overburdened by it. It's an album that has great quality in, in the sound and what it offers, and the design of this record definitely allows that quality to shine and allows that quality to come through, uh, allowing the listener to take as much as the listener wants out of each and every single song, but also walking away with an idea of what the overall experience is all about. Then once you get into the sound of this record, I think you're going to find a very dark and melodic record. Perhaps not as dark as I was expecting it, but still dark nevertheless. Now, the melody of the album counterbalances some of that darkness. Uh, it, it, it helps at times really digest uh, or create a way for the listener to better digest the experience and doesn't allow the album to feel very dense. Because sound-wise, this album offers two different perspectives. On one hand, you have a very gritty and heavy approach that creates a little bit of this ability to completely distort the shapes of the songs and it becomes a lot harder to define the boxes in which you need to put them in. On the other hand, there are elements within the sound of this record that offer a more crisp and clean and clear image of what the idea is all about and what it's trying to be achieved. So these are two sides of the same coin that coexist perfectly throughout the album and allows the record to have a lot more energy. It allows the record sound-wise to be warm on one hand, but still be very cold on the other. It also allows the album to be very melodic, but also be very heavy. So it creates this constant duality that exists not just uh, from song to song, but within songs themselves. It's a constant duality that the listener is faced with, but it's presented in a way uh, because of the production behind the record is presented in a way that makes sense that doesn't in one doesn't intrude onto the other both are able to work in parallel and in unison in order to create a much larger footprint sound wise making an album that sounds a lot bigger but it doesn't sound empty it has volume it has size but it also has substance within that same volume and within that same size now, one of the elements that really helps create this duality is the guitar sound. The guitar sound on this album really showcases both ends of the spectrum. On the heavier, uh, you know, grittier side, the guitars are there to really put their stamp, to really create that experience, that black metal experience that brings that, that grimy darkness almost onto the surface. But then you have the more melodic side of the guitar sound and also the guitar solos which have a more clear sense of, of light, brightness and they're a lot smoother. They have a completely different sound experience. They feel like they are slightly separated from the rest of the sound which allows the listener to better focus on it, better understand it, better digest it, better appreciate its differences and the nuances that they create in the overall sound but the two sides of what the guitars are offering are the two sides that really define what this album is all about sound-wise. They are the catalysts of the atmosphere, of the essence on this record. Then you have the drums. The drums on this album are very heavy and they really help define the heavier side. They collaborate really well with the guitar sound. They're not as, they don't, they don't partake in the, and the dirt and the fuzz that exists surrounding that heavier guitar sound, 
but because they have power, because they have strength, they have aggression, they elevate uh, that sound of the guitars and create a really nice thick wall of heaviness that becomes very distinguishable from everything else around it. The drums play a key role on, on this album and they all ha also have a sense of separation. The sound of the drums, like I said, very different from that fuzziness of the guitars. And while they're not separated by a mile, there is a clear divide between those two sounds, even when they're working in unison with one another. And this might seem a little bit jarring uh, at first glance, but it works really well with that other side of the guitars, which is the melodic side that also has a sense of clarity to it. So everything is kind of working in its own lane, but they're all moving at the same speed. And another element that's working in a different lane moving at the same speed is the bass. I really like uh, the bass sound on this record. I honestly think that there was room for more. Uh, and I'm not saying for a bass sound that's predominantly in the forefront or, or that has a predominant impact into what the sound is gonna be all about. But considering how much the sound of the bass on this record peaks through and the impact that it has uh, on creating some dark elements and, and uh, emphasizing uh, some of the fuzziness, some of, some of the distortion that exists around the heavier guitar sound, I felt like there was room for a little bit more of that. There was a room for a little bit more of definition on that side and not be as sporadic as it was throughout all eight songs. Now, the vocals add to that side as well, not just because uh, of the harshness that they have, but where they are in the mix. They're not in the forefront, they're not all the way in the back, they're somewhere squeezed in in between all of the other layers of sound. Now, having the vocals come in with that sort of aggression, with that intensity, um, and being where they are within the overall mix, it allows the record to feel a lot darker. It gives a different essence to the album. It brings a little bit of the black metal to the forefront, even in songs where that black metal feels a lot more melodic. Keeping that consistency of the vocals always in the same spot, sometimes changing the tonality, the delivery, the tempo is enough to create ebbs and flows vocally and not allow the album to really feel like a one size fits all approach. But when you really look at it, the where the vocals are stay super consistent and the impact that they have also stays super consistent. So it's about creating nuances, it's about creating the idea of changes without necessarily changing that much across every single song of this record, which allows this album to have incredible quality all around. This is a band, or I should say, once again, I always say band, but it's a, it's a one-man project. So this is a project that I've seen growth across each and every single release. But this one, this album, is the one that starts to be a little bit more like an album of a band and less like a solo project. This feels like a more mature approach to songwriting, to execution, to recording, to the way you build an album and to the way you present that album to an audience. This is definitely a, a step above the two previous records in all the categories that make up the record. Sound, design, execution, production, delivery. This is a much better album by Kven, an album that I feel that opens doors for what he can do next because this album is the one that will separate the boys from the men, if you will. Now, as far as favorite songs are concerned, I want to start off with Torsnet Seng. Um, gritty, dark guitar sound on this track uh, with a heavier sound behind it. The drums really help define that sense of heaviness. And then the vocals add this great darkness and great grit that already exists in the sound. They're just kind of adding to it and at the same time emphasizing it. Then you move into the more melodic chorus with really cool vocal layers. Some of them are in the distance and clean vocal layers in the distance, which adds adds to the somber nature of the track. It really adds a great aroma. It adds a great atmosphere to the way the song uh, comes about. And the chorus really allows it to be a reset within this track, uh, uh, giving you a more uh, compact, uh, heavy, heavy verses and then a little bit more of a of an open chorus that that almost makes you forget everything that you came before and resets the table for what's coming after. It's the perfect chorus to really jump out of a track that always feels like it's bringing you in. 
and and it adds to it, it adds some clarity to the way the song is put together what also adds clarity to this track is the great solo section that it has that it takes you all the way to the closing of the song the solo section on this track is an extension of the melody of the experience of the sound that you're getting in the chorus it's just now taking into a different plateau and it's kind of exposed even more that sort of lightness that sort of brightness that the song has at times next we have the ancient gods uh, the underlining melodic riff on this track to me is the calling card of the song because you have this heaviness of drums and guitars at the surface the top layers of this song are super heavy super aggressive but then underneath those really underneath them there's this very calm layer of melody that it's consistently there there are times where it disappears and you feel like the song is losing a little bit of its foundation but as soon as you start to notice that it's not there that the song is losing its foundation it comes right back again and it makes the song complete once again it's a nice parallel of sound between this really smooth and calm underlying melody and all the ruggedness all the craziness all uh, the the commotion that exists at the surface with really amazing heavy drums that this song has and that more uh, grit that more thick that more heavy guitar sound that has that uh, that has that connection also to the vocal delivery bringing them together in order to create that turbulent top with that very smooth bottom last but definitely not least we have the perpetual darkness and this is a song where the dynamics change quite a bit almost every track on this record the sound is engulfing the vocals the vocals really feel not buried in the track but they feel squeezed within the track in this song production wise the vocals are in the same spot they're still engulfed by the sound but the sound has a little bit more freedom the sound feels a little bit more open which allows the vocals to really drive the song it's a song that's more driven by the vocals with everything else being taken through it or being pushed through it or pushed behind it allowing the vocals to still be in that middle spot still be surrounded by sound but be more powerful than the sound that surrounds it it's a really interesting dynamic it's a really interesting song something that allows this track to use the exact same elements use almost the same dna of all the other songs on the record but presented it in a different manner that allows the vocals to have a different role a different impact and therefore giving you a different perspective on what this song is all about this is it Gven with the formless fires out june 21st on metal blade records let me know your thoughts on the band hit me up in the comment section and i'll see you all at the next video take care guys